Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is lesson 378. The title of today's lesson is Don't Use Quite in Negative Sentences. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. Uh, if the sentence is negative, you cannot use quite. You should use very. Very can be used both for positive or negative sentences, but quite cannot. That's why it's confusing for students, because uh, they'll, they'll look at quite and they'll look at very and say, well, they, they pretty much mean the same thing. Quite means very in many situations, but the use is not exactly the same. Quite cannot be used in negative sentences. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at some examples here. Of course, with the X, this is wrong. So if somebody said, it's not quite comfortable to travel on a hard seat while taking a long distance train in China. Yes, so of course with the check this would be correct. It is not very comfortable uh, to travel on a hard seat while taking a long distance train in China. Yeah, I remember many, many years ago I actually did that. Uh, the hard seat was really hard. They had absolutely no cushions at all, and it was very tiny, and two people could really just barely fit on it, and it was straight up. It didn't recline at all. That was a hard seat, and they used to sell that. They used to sell soft seats and hard sleepers and soft sleepers, but I did experience using hard, uh, a hard seat, so it was not very comfortable. All right, let's continue here. Um, all right, now, of course, here, this is just to show you in the uh, positive sense, you could use both. Uh, it is quite comfortable to travel on a soft seat. So let's, you know, just say this was a soft seat that you were traveling on in China or on the train. Or it is very comfortable uh, to travel on a soft seat, you know, for a long distance train in China. All right. Um, again, the X, this is wrong. Uh, it's uh, not quite beautiful to look at. Again, eh, this even sounds you know, somebody probably understand what you mean, but they know this is wrong. This doesn't sound right. Uh, it's not very beautiful to look at. So, of course, if this was a positive sentence, both would work. You could say it is quite beautiful to look at or it's very beautiful to look at. OK, anyway, I hope you got it. Just be careful. Don't use quite in negative sentences. OK, thank you for your time and I hope you got it. Bye bye.